Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to our channel. It's Cade and I am back with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be what do they want to happen between us? So you and your person, what does your person want to happen between you and them? Okay, what do they want to go down? Is it a friendship? Is it a relationship? You know, what's going to go down between the two of you? What do they want to go down between the two of you? I should say this is going to be all about what your person wants to happen between the two of you. Okay, so before I get started, make sure to go ahead and follow us on Instagram. I'm going to pop those up on the screen and those are also going to be linked down below. Also, make sure to check out our spiritual shop. It is www.divinespiritualgifts.com, okay? That is also going to be linked down below. So, before we get started, I just want to do a quick little rundown of how I like to do these. For each pile, I like to use my intuition and my spiritual gifts, okay guys? I do shuffle tarot and oracle cards, but I like to read them intuitively and go a little bit deeper than just the description of the cards, okay? So, in front of me, I have three different piles. So the question is, what do they want to happen between us? So think of your person and we're going to tune in to what they want to happen between you and them. Okay, so pile number one is going to be Tarot and Wonderland. Okay, so this is going to be pile number one right here, guys. Pile number two is going to be the Wild Unknown Tarot. So this is going to be pile number two. And pile number three is going to be the groovy weight tarot. So these are the piles right here. And the question is, what do they want to happen between us? So go ahead and close your eyes, meditate, breathe in and out, pause the video, ask your spirit guides, do whatever you need to do to choose your pile intuitively. Okay, so... Um, all the timestamps are going to be linked down below and before we get started make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload and make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Okay guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number one and I will see the rest of you at your pile. Hi beautiful souls that chose pile number one or the tarot in wonderland. Welcome. This is going to be your reading on what do they want to happen between us? Okay, so go ahead and think of your person. Okay, and let's see guys. Um, tarot in wonderland, pile number one. What do they want to happen between you and them? So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and tune in. Spirit, what do they want to happen between pile number one and the people that chose pile number one? What do they want to happen between them? I'm hearing they want to marry you, okay? Um, I'm hearing they want to be your forever person, okay? Um, I'm hearing ideals. So when they met you, like when they were growing up, I'm getting, they had a lot of visions about what they wanted in a person or what they wanted out of a relationship. And it's like when they met you, you met in a sense this criteria of what they always thought they were going to have, okay? And then you came in and they were like, oh my God, this meets everything that I wanted in a person and out of a relationship, okay? So I do feel like this person and you are already in a committed relationship. I'm hearing a testimonial. So it's almost like... I, I'm almost getting from this like writing vows, like your testimonial for what you're going to be in this relationship, almost like I'm getting promise rings. You could have a promise ring with this person, okay? Um, or you could just have talked about what your life is going to be in the future or like you two getting married, okay? Um, if you're not getting married, this could mean that um, they want to be in a commitment with you. So kind of take it how it resonates. But this feels like they want to have something super duper stable with you, okay? Um, just saying. This feels like they want something stable with you. Like they want to marry you or something like that. I'm hearing they want to be in a commitment. They want to be in a long-term commitment. So this could be marriage for some of you. Um, for some of you, this could just be this person wants to be in a long-term commitment with you because as I said, like when they met you, like I'm, I know this sounds so like um, materialistic and artificial, but like what I'm getting is like they had this checklist. Okay. This is what spirit is showing me. And it's like, 
they're like you're their person like you met everything that they wanted out of a person and that they would want out of a relationship if that makes sense okay i'm hearing you're all of the above so it's like you're not just this or that you're everything to them you're all of the above okay I'm hearing you're my ride or die, okay? This person wants a long-term commitment. This person wants marriage, okay? This person and you could be about to get engaged, guys, or move to that next level of commitment. I'm hearing prosperity. This person wants a legacy with you. I'm channeling the Ten of Pentacles. Um, a legacy. They, wanna, they, they want something long-term, okay? <sighs> okay, let me see what this is about. I'm hearing they have to let go of their old life to start a new life with you. It's almost a sense of like they know they want you, but I don't know if they've come towards you yet because we have letting go and a risk. It's like they could be choosing between another person or like they might have, they might be, I'm also picking up on there could be like a physical distance between the two of you or like there's something else going on in their life and it's almost like they have to let go of this to move in with you I'm wanting to say you could be moving in with this person or to move into a committed relationship with you but for some reason that's a risk but they don't really care I feel like like right now they may have not taken this risk and gotten into this commitment with you they definitely want to be in a commitment okay so we are picking up on what they want out of this this probably isn't happening yet guys um, because it looks like they have to close off something they have to let something else go this could be having to let go of fear because if this is a risk in their eyes they have to let go of fear they have to let go of their pride let go of their ego all of the sudden as I'm channeling this, I'm picking up on some stomach issues, like nerves. This person is nervous, okay? Um, I'm hearing they put you on a pedestal. As I said, you, you're you like their person. You meet all of these ideals of what they want, and it almost makes them a little scared, you know? Like, I'm hearing they want you so bad they can't come towards you, and that doesn't make any sense, but that's what's coming through. I think this person has a lot of fears around this connection. Okay, but I'm hearing they want it to work out. They just don't see how it could work out. There could be something getting in the way, okay? Um, the physical distance, they might have this on their mind like, oh, this would never work out because we live too far away or, oh, this would not happen because of X, Y, and Z, guys. Kind of take how it resonates. But that's what I'm picking up on. Like, they have to take some sort of risk. They have to let go of what they've known for so long to move forward with you. But I think this is going to happen because I'm hearing it's going to move them to the next level in their life. I am picking up that this is a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, you're meant to grow with this person in a relationship. Okay, guys? I'm not saying this is forever and always. Okay, I am channeling that song from Taylor Swift, forever and always. But, um... See, partnership. This is meant to be something long term. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna come right out and say that. Um, and see, partnership comes out. So, definitely like a marriage or a commitment. This person wants a relationship with you, something very stable, something very long term. I'm hearing something very long lasting. I'm hearing longevity. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, something, um, they, they wanna leave a legacy with you. Okay, I'm hearing a typewriter. I don't know if you guys sent this person. I'm almost getting you've sent this person a long message and you've literally spilled your emotions out to this person. I'm getting like you just sat there and you typed this long message of you spilling their emotions, of you, you've spilt your emotions to this person. You've told this person how you feel. If not, this is what this person wants to happen between the both of you. They want to be able to tell you everything that they're feeling. I feel like they haven't told you this yet, okay? I'm hearing they haven't come forward yet. Um, they haven't come forward yet with the offer I'm hearing. I'm hearing turbulence, okay? So they might have to fly to you, okay? So there could be like a long distance, like um, they might live in a different country or a different state where you almost have to fly to meet each other. Like they can't drive to come see you, they have to fly. I'm hearing overseas. I'm hearing this is super unconventional, guys. There's something that's getting in the way of this. There's something that is stopping this. See guys, free yourself. There's something holding this person back. This could be a physical distance. This could be an emotional distance. This could be fears that this person has. This could be the ego of this person. Wow. Okay, so 
When this retreat card comes up, this makes me think that this person just wants to live forever with you, you know, like out in the wilderness and the cabin with just you and them. They want to move in with you, but you have the trust card here. So it's like you're not able to see this yet or they're not able to see this yet because of this physical distance, because of this emotional distance, or because of something getting in the way between the two of you. There's a risk here involved. This person has to risk it all. That's what they feel like. They want to do this. They want a committed relationship with you, but it could take a little bit for this person to kind of gather their confidence and gather you know, some encouragement within themselves to come towards you and to make this offer. And so you have the trust card here. It says this situation is calling you to have faith. What I'm also picking up from this card is that this is a soulmate connection. So if two people are meant to be together, okay, mountains will move, okay? Mountains will move and you two will be together. I'm hearing even though there is a separation, this is your destiny. This person feels like they're destined to be with you. I'm hearing synchronicity. I feel like you guys could have met this person in a very synced up way, okay? Um, I don't know how that resonates with you, but you could have met them and been like, damn, it looks like spirit was doing that, okay? I'm hearing that you guys are very connected to your higher selves. I'm guarantee you, you manifested this person in your life. It feels more so that this person has to take a risk, okay? They want a committed relationship with you. They want something long term. They feel like you're their destiny, but they have to take a risk. I don't know if they have to leave a job, I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing they have to come overseas. I'm hearing they have to invite themselves to get out of their comfort zone. Okay, so let's see. What do they want to happen between you and them? Pile number one. I'm hearing they want something tangible. They want something that they can see, guys. So this person definitely would be someone that would want a label, okay? If that makes sense. They would wanna be like, your mine, okay? They would want that label, okay? Which, I mean, I feel like, you know, they want to be able to say, that's my person, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. Pile one, the star, wow. <laughs> you guys have, wow, oh my God. You are this person's wish fulfillment. I am also picking up from the star that you could sort of be in like the public eye, okay? And this person met you off of a social media because they saw you like a photo of you is what I'm picking up on. And they kind of just came in out of the blue I'm picking up on in such a weird way. Um, this person feels a lot of optimism with you, okay? There's a lot of healing going on with this person. And it looks like they're doing a lot of inner healing with the star card here to be able to move towards you, okay? And with the star here, guys, you're their wish fulfillment. Okay, they want you and they want this connection and they want to put a ring on it. I'm hearing they want a label. They want some sort of label, you know. Um, they don't want it to be one of those things where you're like, oh, we're just talking. We're just flirting. Like, no, they want it to be like, I'm dating this person, if that makes sense. I'm hearing you're my ride or die. I'm picking that up again. I feel like this person feels like they can trust you and talk to you. Like, as I said, you embody what this person wants in a relationship, what this person wants in a connection. And that's why they want this connection so bad. I'm hearing I never want to lose you, okay? They never, wow, the tower in the reverse. They never want this to fall apart. They, ne that's the, this could also be a fear of theirs of like, if I come forward, I never want them to leave me. So it's just better to stay back right now because I never want them to break my heart. Like they're so scared that if they come forward and you guys are in a commitment that it's going to end before it can begin, which is such an ego type thing because I feel like you want this too. But this person really wants to come forward, guys. But um, there is a risk involved. Okay, with this partnership, they feel like there's something that they have to do to come forward. They have to let go of something. They have to let go, I'm hearing, of a life they've known. See, free yourself. They have to free themselves some, from some sort of repeating cycle or repeating pattern. I'm hearing tie me down, like they feel tied down. There definitely is a physical distance or something blocking this connection right now, but how bad this person wants you, I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm hearing be with me, be with me. The lovers in the reverse. You guys have not come into union yet, okay? I'm also picking up with the lovers in the reverse that this person might have to break it off with someone else. 
I really am not picking up that that's going to be for everyone though. Um, that's just for a small few of you. Um, I just feel like the lovers in the reverse is just signifying that you're not yet in union, but this person wants you to, to come into union. Okay. Um, pile number one. This is a very good pile, very positive pile, especially with the star card here. This person feels super positive about this connection and feels like it could be something. They feel like they could leave a legacy with you. Judgment in the reverse. It's like they know they should come towards you, but they're not yet. They're not trusting this connection enough. I'm also picking up on that you're like a highly spiritual person, and this person is not as spiritual as you. So it's hard for them to trust this connection, you know, and just say, oh, I'm going to leave this behind and come towards you. I think inevitably, though, guys, this person wants this connection, okay? They want to be with you. They want a commitment with you. Okay, they want to get married to you, whatever resonates. And they're eventually going to leave behind what they've known to come towards you. And there you go to end the reading. I feel like that's perfect to end the reading, the Ace of Cups, giving you that offer, okay? So much love that this person has for you, okay, guys? Um, if they're not in communication with you right now, just understand that this person just has a lot of fears, guys, um, when it comes to being with you, okay? They definitely want a partnership, though, but they're having a little trouble of letting go of something and they feel like coming towards you is sort of a risk, okay? But I think they're gonna do it anyways, guys. Um, I really do, because that's what this person wants, okay? And the heart wants what it wants, okay? Wow. Like, I don't know, wow, pile one, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm hearing a new beginning. This, this person will come forward, guys. Engagement, look at that bottom of the deck, engagement, wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's so much movement, optimism, positivity moving forward with this person. That's what they want with you in this connection. So pile number one, please let me know down in the comments if this resonated with you. Um, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload and make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Wow, that was just an incredible reading, guys. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number two or the wild unknown tarot. Welcome. This is your reading on what they want to happen between you and them. Okay, so what does your person want to happen between you and them? What do they want to happen between us? Okay, if it's coming from your perspective. Okay, so let's go ahead and tune in pile number two to what your person wants to happen between you and them. Spirit, what does pile number two's person want to happen between them? I'm hearing they want to overcome something, okay? They're in denial about this connection, guys. This person is in major denial about having a connection with you. Okay, I'm also picking up that this person could have friend zoned you. Um, I'm hearing this felt so intense that they backed up. This person feels like they're running from this, okay? Okay, I'm also picking up that this person is involved with other people. Like, I'm hearing they're trying to please other people. So this could be a situation where, like, they're not coming towards you because their family doesn't want them to come towards you. Or, like, they're not coming towards you because their friends say that they shouldn't come towards you. This is, like, a feeling. I'm hearing they're trying to please other people. This could also be that they're just um, giving attention to other girls or boys and they're just not coming towards you right now because they're kind of in denial about this connection, okay? Or they're not wanting to see it, almost. They're kind of... Um, they're, they're like doing this, I'm wanting to do this. Like, they're, like you're over there, but they're wanting to not look at you for some reason. They're, I'm hearing they're wanting to pretend you're not there. Dialect. Okay, this person has a problem with communicating with you. I'm hearing they don't type back. This person is not a good texter or they don't communicate with you. Because I feel like... I'm almost feeling like you make them feel too much, okay? Let me get some more info. What does pile number two want to happen between them? Let's see, pile two. What do they want to happen? Oh my god, okay, hold on. Let me just get a few cards, okay. I'm hearing they want to resign. They, they want to like leave this connection behind. They're in denial about it 
or they're trying to please other people, guys, but this is just not the person that I feel like you are looking for. I just wanna say that with the owl here, um, I feel like you know this, okay, your deep inner wisdom is telling you that this person, you know, I feel like this person makes you stress a lot, like they don't text you back, okay? And right now, it does look like this person is running from this connection, okay? Current energy. Um, and then you have the owl, which can also be deception. So this person is putting on false mask. I am getting that they're talking to other people or giving attention to other parties, okay, guys? Um, let's see, what does pile number two's person want to happen between them? They want to run. I'm feeling like you're such a caregiver. It does feel like you've put all the energy into this connection. I feel like almost like this person came into this connection um, with, um, how do I say this, with little intentions to make it into anything else but just flirting with you. Um, I do feel like I'm hearing this person flirts with a lot of guys, okay, or a lot of girls, depending. Gender doesn't really matter. They're on their high horse. This person has a very big ego, guys. Um, they work a lot from their ego, and this person has a lot of pride, okay? And um, I, I'm hearing they're not able to see your beauty, okay? I'm hearing they're not able to see your beauty, guys. This is just kind of feels like a karmic partner. I'm hearing a sideshow. They've treated you like a sideshow. You've never been their main focus. Forgiving and learning, guys. This is a learning type of thing. Okay, you're meant to learn from this. Okay, I'm not saying to be resentful towards this person. Forgiving and learning. It's almost like a sense of you got into this relationship to learn your true power and your true potential and your true beauty. Okay, I don't feel like this person wants any more. I'm hearing them maybe some sex on the side or to flirt with you every now and again. I feel like you thought this had a lot of potential at first. Um, I, I feel like that's kind of how karmic partnership, wow. Y'all, you have deception twice. Okay, you have the owl which says deception and the, um, the other card that says deception. As I'm picking up on, this is just not your person. Okay guys, they are not giving you the time of day that you think they are. Okay guys, they don't talk to you and it feels like they kind of do this on purpose. But guys, it's just because I feel like this person is vibrating at a very low frequency. You're so, you I don't know, you're just meant for so much better, okay guys? You're going to manifest someone so much better than this. This is not what you want. You're vibrating at such a higher frequency than this person. And they're just not, I'm getting they're not who you think they are, guys. And maybe you're picking up on this because I do feel like you're highly intuitive. What do they want to happen with pile number two? They want to stop it. I'm hearing they want to end it, okay? They want to stop it. They want to end it. I would stop putting an energy into this pile, guys. I'm hearing you need to walk away. You need to let go. I'm hearing you need to keep in mind about your own well-being, okay, and your own potential. Don't stoop to this person's level, I'm getting. I feel like they don't want anything from this, guys. Um, wow. Okay, guys, so all the cards are pointing to what my intuition. Guys, they never gave this relationship a chance, even if they made you think that they did. Okay, guys, um, I, we have... Wow, okay, the cards just clarify everything my intuition is saying, which is very helpful. We have free yourself and release your ex. I'll show you these cards, guys. Um, I feel like you're stuck right now in this cycle. I think the same thing happens. Like, I'm almost feeling like they might text you every now and again, guys, and then run again. They get your hopes up because they do this to everyone. This person feels like a player. They feel like they flirt a lot, guys, and this person is not who you think they are. Um, let's see if I can get any more information about what's going to happen between the two of you and what they want to happen. I'm hearing they want to disconnect. I would not be surprised if this person just ghosts you guys. I would not be surprised if this person just leaves you and never talks to you again. Um, this person, I'm hearing the mind. They've been playing mental games with you. They've been playing with your emotions. 
I'm hearing they've made you seem like someone you're not, okay? So they might have manipulated you a little bit into thinking you were this when you're not, okay? Making you think that you're the problem when in reality they're the problem, okay? I'm just hearing again, don't stoop to their level. You're in a state of in-between, guys. So it's like you're stuck right now in this state of like um, it's not really bad, but it's not really good. You're just like stuck, it feels like, in this karmic cycle with this person. And it's like once you free yourself, that's when you're able to um, jolt forward in your life is what I'm wanting to say. You're able to jolt forward, okay, and um, give other relationships a chance because I, I don't, you're not going to like this person. They're not who they seem to be. Okay, they're coming across as very manipulative, um, as being liars, and very self-obsessed is what is coming to my into in, into my clear audience. Only time will tell. So what I'm gonna say with this, guys, if you, if you're not gonna leave this person in time, you will see why you should have. Is what I'm picking up on. If this is not resonating, guys, then this is not your pile. But you know, kind of take what resonates. Um, with this. This just doesn't feel healthy. It feels like this person is deceiving you and it feels like this person is manipulating you. I'm hearing um, you're trying too hard with this person. I feel like you've tried so hard with this person and nothing's going to come out of it because no guys, they're not willing to give this a chance and their vibration is so low. They couldn't even be able to connect with someone as great as you. I'm almost just getting they're down here, you're up here. It's just hard for this person to vibrate at your level, to think like you do. I do feel like you're a very spiritual person, which is probably why you're on this video to begin with, guys. But I would say I'm hearing run as fast as you can. Like, I just don't get a good vibe from this person. Not like they would hurt you or anything, but just like you're giving into something that you're never gonna, you're, you're never gonna get what you want. Okay, guys, I feel like this pile is a hopeless romantic. You love the idea of romance. Um, you want a commitment, and this is not that person, guys. Let me see if I can get any more um, information, okay? But this is pretty um, straightforward for pile two. I'm hearing you've overcome this challenge. You will overcome this. You're holding on to this, okay, guys? You have the three of pentacles in the reverse and the four of pentacles. I feel like you're holding on to something that is inevitably not working, okay? And you've just kind of made up this story in your mind about who you think they are, but it doesn't... I'm hearing who do you think you are running around leaving scars. Like, guys, this person will hurt you in the end if you stay, okay? Um... You know, I would recommend, like, this is a pick a card, guys, so I, I would recommend to listen to your own intuition as well, guys, because not everything is going to resonate. Um, but tune into your own intuition and see what you're getting from this person, because I'm getting that you're holding on to something that is, in the end, going to hurt you, okay? And you're needing to free yourself from this before it's too late, is what I'm wanting to say. <sighs> okay. This person isn't offering you anything, guys. There's no stability. I'm hearing there's no communication. I'm hearing there's no verbalization. It almost feels like, um, in a way, that this person has almost manipulated you, which, guys, I've been involved in this too, like where they'll manipulate you and you think that it's going good, but really, <clears throat> I'm getting like my throat chakra. There's something about not being able to speak your truth with this person or feeling like you always have to be someone else around them. Okay, um, let's see what else I can get for pile number two. I keep hearing only time will tell the magician in the reverse. This is manipulation, guys. The devil, the devil, okay? The devil is coming out, but it's in reverse, which is better. But again, very toxic energy. And the devil in the reverse tells me you're going to be freeing yourself from this person. And with justice, this makes me feel so good because everything is going to work out in your favor because I know you guys are highly intuitive and you are going to manifest someone in your life that is for your highest purpose. I do think this person helped you learn and step into your true potential, but um, I'm not getting a good vibe from this person, guys. Um, let me see if I can get any more last messages. It's, it's an illusion. They're not offering you anything. It it's almost feels like you're stuck in your head and you're like thinking this person is something that they're not. This person is a liar. This person manipulates you, guys. This person deceives you. Okay, and you're holding on to something it feels like that is not working. Okay, it's not, you're not creating anything. So guys, 
What do they want from you? Um, nothing. Okay, they're just kind of playing around with you and manipulating you, which is fucking sucks. Like, I hate people that do that. But you are going to be stronger because of this, and you're going to come out on top. And I know that this will serve a purpose in your life, and you... You're so, you have so much potential, guys. Don't let this person make you feel lower than you are because you're gonna go do great things, okay? And this is just something that you had to learn along your path because that's how fucking great you are. You gotta learn lessons and you will rise from the ashes, guys. And you're gonna manifest someone that truly loves you for who you are and is gonna connect with you on a spiritual level, guys. You deserve that and you're going to manifest that, guys. So just take this as lessons that you had to learn along the way. Uh, I love you, beautiful souls, okay? You will get through this, okay? You will get through this, and I'm hearing you will rise from the ashes. You always come out on top. I'm hearing the song, Look What You Made Me Do. I rose up from the dead. I do it all the time. Like, you're fucking gonna rise up, guys. Go listen to the song, Look What You Made Me Do. Feel empowered. Don't let this get you down. You're a powerful ass bitch that is going to go do great things. So don't let this get you down. I love you so much, and I'm sending positive light and love your way. <sighs> sending kisses and love and beautiful energy your way, pile number two. You are going to manifest someone that is so in love with you, you're not even going to be able to stand it. But this is just not the person. Okay, guys? So... Please let me know down in the comments if it resonated with you guys. Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like the video. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number three or the groovy weight tarot. Welcome. This is your reading on what they want to happen between you and them. Or from your perspective, what do they want to happen between us? Okay, so welcome pile number three. Thank you so much for being here. This is your reading. So let's just go ahead and tune in and see what they want to happen between you and them for pile number three. What does pile number three's person want to happen between them? They're, they're wanting to share something with you, okay? Um, I'm hearing share a home, share emotions. Um, I'm hearing share a lunch table. I don't know if you sit in the cafeteria with this person. They're wanting to share something with you. Um, so this person I'm getting, if you're not in communication, you might hear from them soon because there's a sense of I want to talk to you, if that makes sense. I want to talk to you, okay? I'm hearing I want to be in your bed. So I don't know if this person is thinking about moving in with you. They definitely want to share something with you, um, like a home or something. So let's keep going and see what's going on here. What does pile number three's person want to happen between them? Th they want to remember you. Hmm. They... they... They, I'm also picking up they want to share something with you. Like, they want something to represent what you two have. Like, I don't know if they want to take a photo with you, um, or... Let me see. I'm hearing they're scared you're going to leave them. They, they want to share something with you. It's almost like a sense of them crawling in their skin. So, this person might not be fully open and vulnerable with you, but that's what they want. They want to be more open and vulnerable with you. They want to um, pry you open, I'm hearing. They want to get to know you. This could be like the start of something new, guys, is what I'm getting. It feels like this person wants to be more vulnerable with you, wants to open up to you. Um, I'm hearing they want you to see their light. They want to, like, um, be vulnerable with you. The star card is coming to my mind. They want to show you something. I don't know what it is. I feel like it could be, like, in a sense that they want to show you their emotions. Or they want to show you or share with you how they feel. Or they just want to open up to you, um, in a sense. Okay, guys, so let's see. What does pile number three's person want to happen between them? They want to consider you a friend. Um, I feel like this is going to go very slow, guys. This person wants things to go very slow, okay? Um, okay. Um, okay, so what I'm picking up from this person, guys, is that they, there's, a, okay, there's a sense of, like, being scared to be vulnerable. So what they want to do is show themselves to you. But see, with the goblin here, this is their ego. There's a fear um, of showing themselves to you. But with the high priestess, it's like, it's not that they're completely in their ego. Like they know that they should show themselves to you and connect with you 
on some sort of level, I am hearing friendship. So it does kind of feel like this person, because the fact that they've been hurt in the past, I would not be surprised if this person wants to take things incredibly slow, okay? I know I said moving in, okay, at the beginning, but that could be for a very few of you, or maybe that's just come to their mind every now and again. This person wants to share something with you. So I don't know if like you think this person wants to be in a relationship, but it's almost like with this messages card here, the hawk, they wanna be like, can we take things slow? But they, at the same time, they don't wanna tell you that because they don't want you to leave them. You know, like they don't wanna say the wrong thing to you because it's like two things I'm picking up on. It's like, they're scared to come forward and open and be vulnerable with you, but at the same time, they want to because they don't wanna lose you. This person does want you in their life. It's just a sense of, I wanna take things slow is what I'm picking up on. I'm hearing I wanna be vulnerable. This person wants to be vulnerable with you. They wanna share more with you. So they wanna get to know you is what I'm picking up from this pile. They wanna just talk with you, okay? I'm not feeling like they want any type of commitment yet, that could be in the future. I'm not saying that they don't ever want that, but it does kind of feel like I want that they want to start off as friends, okay? Let's see, pile number three, what do they want to happen between them? Oh, my God. oh wow. See, playful. This makes me think of wanting to take things slow, wanting to start at something like a friendship and move up the ladder, okay? And guys, like I said with my intuition, and then look, we have the card getting to know you. Like, just, I'm. they wanna build chemistry with you. Feels like there might not be a lot of chemistry. This could be a relatively new connection, okay? Um, but what does this person want? They want to get to know you better, okay? They wanna be friends first, like know you like friends, and then move up the ladder, okay? It's more of a, I wanna take it slow and kind of go piece by piece, is what this person wants from this connection. I'm hearing they wanna live with you, okay? So definitely they do eventually want to move up the ladder, have a commitment with you, but right now they just wanna start slow, which I think is a very healthy thing, guys, because I feel like this could be really long lasting. Um, see, but the funny thing is, is we have past life relationships, so I don't know how much getting to know each other you have to do, but this person feels like they just need to know you better, that there needs to be more to happen between you before you move into the next level of this relationship or whatever this is, okay? So let's see what else I'm picking up on. Pile number three, what do they want to happen between them? They want to cruise, okay? So I'm getting coast. They, they, they want to go slow, okay? I can't reiterate this enough of how this is coming through. Um, they want to be friends and then lovers is what I'm hearing. They, they, there's such an importance around this person. I don't know why. I think it's because they've been hurt in the past and they're a little scared to be vulnerable. So they kind of want to get to know you first and kind of just dip their toes in this relationship before they fully dive in, okay? Um, I'm hearing I just want to get to know you. I just want to see who you are, okay? So pile number three, what do they want to happen between them? I'm hearing they want to try to communicate with you. I don't know if this person is in communication with you yet, but I do feel like communication is going to pick up because this person is going to want to talk to you more, okay? They're going to want to know. I'm getting 20 questions vibes. I'm hearing your deepest, darkest secrets. This is going to be your friend, guys. Um, this is going to be your friend, and I do feel like it's going to turn into a love relationship. I do feel like it's going to be a friendship first, though. I don't know why I'm picking up on this. I'm hearing corridors. I don't know if you guys go to school with this person, okay? Um, I'm hearing you're in class with this person. See the Page of Cups. This person offers just a little bit. This always reminds me of just being a texter. So they might be a little nervous to talk on the phone at first. They might be a little nervous to hang out. I think just they're gonna wanna level up, guys, with the Page of Cups here. Offer something very immature at first. This would be like a friendship, not nothing huge right now, especially with the Playfulness card and the Page of Cups. This is something that's gonna start a little like immature and it's gonna grow. But I think that's really healthy, guys, because um, this feels like really good because you're going to be friends first. You're going to get to know each other. And I do think, um, it's going to expand from there. So I do, I think this person just wants to take it slow. And I know it sounds like a broken record at this point, but, um, that's what's coming through. What does pile number three's person want between them? 
they want to try something new. Okay, so I do feel like this person in the past has really just kind of jumped into relationships um, out of the blue. Um, and right now they're just not in this nine of pentacles energy ready to be in a commitment. They are kind of wanting to be alone right now. They're wanting to be single. Um, with the queen of wands in the reverse, they're just trying to figure out a little bit more of who they are before they want. This person just wants to be single right now. But I'm not saying that they never will get in a commitment. But they just kind of, they don't want to lose you either though. It's like in the back of their mind, they still want a commitment with you but they just want to start as friends. Um, I'm hearing peers. You definitely could go to school with this person or you could sit in class. I'm hearing you sit behind them in class. I'm hearing for some of you, you twirl your hair. Okay, I don't know why that's coming through. If you twirl your hair in class, this person notices it. I'm hearing you have a mechanical pencil. You guys use mechanical pencils. Major class vibes, okay? Let me just say this one more time, okay? Because this is coming through again, so I feel guided to say it. Like, guys, this person is not going to make, with the Page of Swords in the reverse, this person could be a little wishy-washy at times. Um, they might go in and out, but I don't think that means that they want you out of their life. This person is just not ready to say, I promise you this. Like, it feels like this person is just not going to promise you anything major right now besides talking to you and having um, a friendship happen between the two of you. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see if I can get any last messages for pile number three. Any more messages for pile number three and what their person wants to happen between them. I'm hearing they want to come towards you, but in divine timing. It just feels like they want to just be very careful and um, tedious, I'm getting. They just want to make sure about this because, as I said, this person... I'm hearing this person has been a go-getter in the past. They just kind of talked to people and got into relationships super quickly. They're not going to do that this time. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not going to make this big offer this time like they normally do in relationships. Um, uh, for a, another thing that I am picking up on is that they're trying to, you know, find themselves, get financially stable, and just step into their confidence a little more before they pursue you. Um, in a relationship okay so let me see if there's any last messages for pile number three and what they want to happen between you and them okay they're gonna start trying harder though so if they haven't been in communication with you I do feel like communication is gonna pick up that's a good sign um, I do feel like they're gonna want to start talking to you more um, definitely okay separation yeah if they've kind of kept their energy back they're gonna you're gonna start building this chemistry guys um, this person, I'm getting the vision of a torch. So I do feel like this person could be a fire sign. And right when I say that, the Sagittarius card um, falls out. But um, the Temperance card is also about patience. So be patient with this person. Um, it's going to take them a little while to go into a full commitment. But I, I don't think that's a problem, okay? I'm not saying you have to wait on them. But um, just know that this person wants to take it slow, guys. Um, so yeah. That is your message pile number three. Please let me know down in the comments if that resonated with you. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram. All of those links are going to be down below. And check out our spiritual shop. That is also going to be linked down below. Um, this was a super fun reading, and I hope it resonated with everyone. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.